Hey, what's up, guys? And then we're also in review today for you. This said product was sent out to me by the amazing people over at New Wisdom. Huge shout out to them for sending me this out for review. This is the brand new Thor CNC machined aluminum iPhone 6 case for the 4.7 inch model. Taking a look at the back of the packaging, you can see you have a, some of the features listed. It's made out of a solid block of air grade clasped aluminum. They also designed to cover 360 degrees all around, offers extra grip and an ultra tough design with a hard TPU rubber inside. And with the nice uh, generous cutouts, you should have no problem with it using any third party accessories. Now let's take a look inside the box and see everything that this iPhone case has to offer. So first, uh, you get a few extra screws uh, just in case you were to lose any, which is very nice of them to include in the packaging, as well as a screwdriver to unscrew the case so you can apply it to your phone. Next, uh, we get a little uh, thank you card letting you know uh, about all their thanks uh, for buying their case. If you want to leave a review, you can go to Amazon.com slash shops slash New Wisdom Valley to either purchase or leave a review. And you can check them out on Facebook at New Wisdom Valley. If you need to contact uh, the manager, you can either contact them at sales at newwisdom.com or she has her WhatsApp number and also her Skype if you need to get in touch with her. Here's her info card with her Skype and email. Also, if you want to pick up any of these cases other than Amazon, you can go to newwisdom.com. And these are the QR codes you can scan directly from your phone or mobile device, and they'll lead you right to the website. Next, we have some installation instructions. You do have uh, three separate parts. You have the outer shell, you have the rubber inlay, and then you have the top piece. So what you want to do is just unscrew the four screws, put your iPhone in, and then you're ready to use the case. Next, we have the really stylish case itself with this very uh, cool, unique design. You see you have some lightning bolts up at the top with uh, some famous uh, Marvel superheroes. You have Thor, you have Flash on the left, and then you have Raytheon on the right with some uh, Simon Brandon on the uh, belt loop. Or if you want, you can attach this uh, to the back of a backpack. Now take a look around the case. You do see you have a nice generous cutout for your camera hole. This way you get no washback or flashback issues. And each one of the corners uh, does protrude a little bit. This is increase uh, the maximum amount of durability that the case can withstand in case you were to drop your phone. So I really appreciate that the extra protection. Over on the right hand side, your power button is covered up. That looks like it's a very easy to press in with no problem getting to it. And you see you have a ridged uh, barrier all the way down the side. This is for easy grip, so that way it won't slip out of your hand when you're holding the case. Over on the left hand side, you'll see you have your volume buttons covered up as well. And a nice uh, generous opening for your silent switch, so you have no problem accessing that. And now take a look on the bottom. Your lightning port and your headphone jack, they are a little bit tighter than the other ports. So you might have some issues with uh, certain third-party uh, connectors. But if you're just using a standard Apple uh, plug, you should have no problem. Now let me show you real quick what this looks like uh, on my phone. And I'll be right back to show you my results. Alright guys, I'm back to show you my results. Now I'm not going to lie to you, it, it was a very easy process. The only thing though is it's very uh, time-consuming with unscrewing all the screws and putting them back in. But other than that, the sheer design of this case is very outstanding, especially with all the little lightning bolts for Thor. I think it's a really cool uh, concept. Now, taking a look around the case, 
As I mentioned before, you get a nice generous cutout for your camera hole, so you get no washback or flashback issues. Over on the left hand side, your volume buttons are covered up. They have very good tactile feel, so you have no problem pressing those. And then you have a nice generous cutout for your silent switch, so you have no problem turning that on or off. On the bottom, you have your three individual cutouts. One for your lightning port, speaker grill, and your headphone jack. Over on the right hand side, you will see your lock button is covered up with a very responsive uh, feedback. So you have no problem pressing that as well. On the front, you do get, get a nice amount of lay on the table design. So if you were to lay it on its uh, face, you would you don't have to worry about your phone getting scratched at all because the case will hit the surface first. And I also want to note for every purchase of one of these cases, you do get a free included tempered glass screen protector, which is a very nice bonus since most of these retail between $10 to $50. So all around the top, back, and bottom, you do have this nice CNC machined aluminum, which is ultra protective in case you were to drop your phone as well as a nice to soft cushion inner TPU layer. This to dissipate shock throughout the whole case. So that way if your phone were to drop, it would uh, bounce and uh, dissipate the shock. So that way your phone is less likely to get uh, damaged while it's in this case. You also get a little attachment that you can uh, put onto the screw on the back. This is if you want to attach it to your belt or if you want to attach it to a backpack. And that was my quick look at the iPhone 6 metal case by New Wisdom. Once again, huge shout out to him for sending me this out for a review. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link in the description down below. They have various other colors on Amazon. They currently retail for $35.99, which is a great deal since they're normally $59.99. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos like this. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.